Yo, what's happening? It's that guy, not locks, not nation. Today I got a dreadlock review for you called Ichabod Bane. So make sure you stay tuned, stay subscribed. This is Not Nation. Giving you another dread review. I mean, I gotta keep them flowing, gotta keep them going. Never gonna stop because this is what I'm here to do in this lifetime. I don't know why. But it's been a calling. YouTube's been calling me. Do videos on the internet. Talk about dreads. You've always been fascinated with them. So that's what I'm going to do. Today, a lot of people have been talking about Ichabod Veins. Ichabod Veins is a um, musical artist. I don't know who he is. But if we take a look at his song real quick, let's see what it sounds like. Ah! <laughs> All right, you know what? Let's hear this pitchfork song as well. Reminds me of a dude from Florida that I've been meaning to do a dread review on that goes by the name of. I'm just pulling up my my uh, Instagram here. Ichabod Veins. Yes. Okay. This is this this is the dude. So this dude is from Florida. I do. I have looked into this dude uh, before. Loosely associated with X and some and some of those rappers around then. Um, Ichabod Veins rocking some pretty prolific dreads, if I must say. Um, checking out his dreads. Uh, what can I say? They're pretty well free-formed. Uh, lots of frizzy hairs all around the top. Kinks and loops in the dreads itself. And a lot of length. Um, these photos really show his length. He does have some green dye and some bleach blonde dye in his dreads as well. Kind of makes it like a grungy appearance. Kind of matches his style. Uh, smoking big blunts uh, and the cool thing about Ichabod Veins is that he's got some Congos. He has some uh, Wicks almost like his dreads are flat and Congoed up in a lot of places uh, Here's Ichabod with his dreads on his head does this often real cool look the thing I noticed here about Ichabod's dreads back in the day uh, didn't have any dye in here at all I like that they're very like kinky and wavy and has some loops going on. Like this is pretty much straight Caucasian freeform dreads. And when people say, you know, not all hair freeforms, not all hair dreads, man, it does. This is the proof in the pudding. Proof in the pudding. Uh, here's a picture of Ichabod with his dreads on top of his head in a nice bun. Dreads down the sides. Very gothic. That's where all the good stuff is. Grim Reaper. Nowadays, he's got this crazy face tat of a sickle. But look at his dreads, though. Wicks. Wicks. Big flat dreads. Like, it's crazy to see that. I love to see that. Um, here's another picture of his locks. A lot of green and bleach put in there as well. Um, cool picture of his hair with his with his dreads on top of his head here. A lot of green in his wicks at this point. You can see oh turquoise as well. Uh, so he's got a lot of different colors going on up there. And you can see the face tats collected over time as well. It almost looks like his dread is half blonde and half brown. Um, cool dread buns that he's rocking on top of his head. Pretty legendary. And this is a photo that I posted to Instagram the other day. Shows you the big wicks, big um, crinkly dreads, a lot of face tats there. And uh, really cool. I like the frizzy hairs. Pretty much a no care. 
no care zone, you know what I'm saying? Like, never ties his hair into a ponytail, or really just does it on top of his head if he does a dread, uh, dread bun at all. I like that he's wearing the hoodie, and then there's this big Congo loop. Like, this is the Bob Marley dread here on the side. Like, this thing is friggin' massive, and it must be his biggest dreadlock on his head, hands down. A uh, picture of him with his hair up versus a picture of him with his dreads down. Dreads coming from the side here. What does that say? Sage? <laughs> Pretty cool tattoo. Dreads hanging down here as well. So a good thing he is in Florida. He's able to let his hair dry, air dry, drip dry pretty easy. But as you can see, like this big Congo here has formed from these things Congoing all the way from these ones Congoing. So he's been committed 10 years plus, let's put it that way. And it's cool to see the, commit the commitment because uh, a lot of the rappers these days have short dreads just for the fashion so you can tell he's been committed in the culture for a long time way before that he even had um, dreads way before he was even a rapper he's had dreads it seems like and that's him with his tattoo of X I knew they were close Dreads hanging down on the car. Crazy length that he's got going on there. I love to see the big dreads that have formed. Looks like he might be a tattoo artist. Is that why we're seeing all these fresh tattoos on here? So yeah, it seems like he was X's. Come on now. Come on. Yeah, it actually seems like he was X's tattoo artist. So uh, pretty interesting. And uh, you know, we learn and learn and grow together here on this channel as we do these reviews, as you can tell. So uh, definitely interesting character, Ichabod Beans. I definitely will uh, suggest checking him out. His music, his locks, his tattoos, whatever you're into. Maybe it's just his dreads. I don't know. But I'm going to end this video here. So definitely smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't. Or if you're new to this channel. I appreciate you guys. I love all your faces. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then, peace out. One love. Stay happy and natty. Let your locks grow. And remember to be 420 daily. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Did like a rock star.